Hello guys, this is Judge and today we're going to talk about a very important game mode. We do have a, a guide for this already, but uh, of course video is always different and some people prefer them. So let's have a look at it, right? Uh, so we go here, boss, and you go down into server team instance. Alright, for the new players, this will probably be locked for you, right? And you can only unlock it after 60 days. Alright, so after 60 days, this will unlock, you'll be able to enter, but only after 61 days, so the day after it unlocks, that's when you'll be able to actually join uh, instances, right? So keep that in mind, that's why it says that it's unlocked, but you can open, you can join, right? So you just need to wait one more day. I mean, what's one day after you wait the 60 days, right? Okay, so let's have a look at what we have here. Of course, always check out the info here at the top. It always has some cool stuff uh, for you to read and, <laughs> and understand, some rules or whatever. Uh, I've talked about the team store already in my last video, so you can check that out. I'm not going to go ahead and, and do it again right now, but you can check the last video for it. Uh, first kill is not important. You have the daily reward here, right? So it shows you right, some quests that you can do every day. And these are really good, right? Especially this one, right? This one is just 500 for doing three instances. So make sure you complete it every day. Maybe for a lower level, you won't be able to get a six star every day, but the, the other ones you should be able to, right? But do your best to do all of them every day because it's a lot of coins that it gives. And the coins, you can trade them up for some really nice rewards at the team store. Okay, and then you also have, uh, let's let's continue here on this screen, uh, the chat. Of course, the chat here is not so important. You, you, the, the team chat is the one that you're going to see in when you're actually inside the instance. Uh, Alright, here you can see your, your team, your lineup is the same one as your arena one. That's basically it. And the team instance record is where you get the rewards. Right, so if you go here, you can see the rewards. If it's your own instance, this will be lit up. It won't be shadowed like this. Uh, but you can also see when you get double chests here, so it's nice. But you can't collect it from here. You have to click on the claim all button. That's how you collect uh, the rewards for the instances. All right, moving on to inside. All right, you go inside and you have okay, lots of. Uh, have lots of stuff they can do here as well as you can see this is the ice age instance we don't have another one maybe in the future you never know here at the top you have the number of scrolls that you have then you have the reward right so th these are the achievements let's let's say like this okay these achievements they get reset every two months so here you can see that on the 31st of december this is going to get reset and it also gets reset uh, every merger okay so if your server merges then you, this gets reset and it's really nice when it gets reset because you get all these rewards again right I, I'm, I'm doing them now because i got reset last week uh, sorry i got merged last week my server right so I, i'm just getting these rewards again so it's really nice some extra gems some extra like a weapon reward uh, coins so it's really cool really cool uh, the Ice Age uh, frame is currently bugged, right? So even if you don't, uh, if you can't uh, equip it, right? You can't actually wear uh, the, the Ice Age frame, uh, it still gives you the, the stats, right? So don't worry about it. You're going to get the stats that it gives you, but you just don't, um, you can't wear it like I do because I, I, used <laughs> I, I equipped it before it was bugged. All right, so uh, this, uh, just bear in mind, this doesn't update automatically, right? You do have to refresh the list, right? You can't do it very often, it doesn't let you. But in general, you can do that. You can also filter by star. So if you're only interested in six stars, then you can do that or any other star. Okay, but generally it's best to leave it uh, in all. All right, uh, Intel. Okay, so this is where all the information about the instances is. You can read everything here and it tells you all about the, the, the monsters that you, you face, the opponents, right? And, and everything there. But this is not really important apart from the six stars one, okay? Five stars can be a little bit hard too in the beginning, but six stars is the one that's difficult that even now people still fail sometimes because they don't do it right. The boss is difficult, yeah, but the the real problem, okay, of course, he's strong and you need to be strong. At least, I would say, 400 million, right, your power to be able to beat the boss. Depends on your team, of course, uh, but you do need somebody at least that strong. And, and make sure that if you only have one, you ask them. Ask them if they can do it easily, check the team as well. Maybe you have to do some other strategies, okay, so uh, do communicate. I'm going to talk about that more in a second. 
uh, but then you can see here that these are the normal opponents, the normal enemies, and here's the elite enemies, right? The elite enemies are a problem because they can spawn uh, the normal enemies, right? So they can spawn them in other places. And the, the normal enemies, they can spawn traps. So that's a huge problem because traps, they uh, can they take 30% of your max HP of your whole team, right? 30% of each character. So if you uh, go through four traps somehow, then you just die, <laughs> right? And if you go for three traps, then you have very little HP to fight the boss. So be very careful with traps. These are the, the most dangerous thing about the uh, it's the six star instance. Uh, so yeah, just try to avoid them. And then there's another way to avoid them as well that we're going to talk about in a bit. Uh, not avoid them, but to kill them basically. Okay, the boss is strong, so make sure you're strong enough for it. Try to remember that these elite monsters, they can also spawn uh, the normal ones and the normal ones they spawn traps so keep that in mind when you're uh, setting up your team and uh, last but not least the portal we're not going to talk about the chest for now uh, the portal basically teleports you to the boss lane okay you understand that in a second when we go inside but it just teleports you there and it's nice when you have a very difficult boss and a very uh, weak team let's say and you want to stack people on the boss then you have to stack them on two different lanes so one of them being the portal Okay, we'll talk about that in a bit, but do check this out, do read it if you're new, because there's some good information here to take in. Okay, let's, uh, since I have a 6 star here, let's try to apply for it so you guys see what it looks like. Uh, it's already almost full. I'm just gonna do it quickly without explaining. But let's see what happens here, okay? So, I, I, you can see the boss is here, there's a trap and there's a normal. Okay, and there are two elites here, right? And the elites, they can spawn other normals. They could, they could spawn the normal here or here, right? So how does the instance work, basically, right? So what happens is when the, g the game starts, right? When the match starts, then this guy is going to move forward, then this one, and then this one, then this one. That's literally it. And then the one behind, 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 behind. And it's just going to keep going like that, right? So this one will face this one, this one will face, oops, this one. Uh, and then this one will face the trap and etc. Okay, and then you could keep going like that. And this is very important because let's say that you don't have anybody in this square, nobody in this square, and then you have a really strong guy in this square, right? Then what will happen is this guy will go forward and kill the boss before anybody else can get to the chests. And so try not to do that. Well, they didn't accept me. They're not accept accepting anyone. I don't know what happened. Uh, but anyway, let's just leave that doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, they accepted someone else. Sad, very sad. But anyway, something else that you guys I haven't talked about is the fast applying. This can be really useful, guys, especially when there are a lot of instances open, right? I use this all the time, actually, right? Let's say that I want to do only the higher ones, I want to do only five and six, so I can select them and then select the scroll that I want and then apply for those, right? So there, there aren't any right now, but I can do that if I want to. Well, let's say I only want to use my gold on six stars, so I just keep doing that, right? And then uh, I, I can refresh and check for more, etc., right? Uh, or if you want to use this one, but only want to use them in, in lower level one. So I only want to use it on level three or four, right? Three or four stars. So I can do like this and just apply for all of the available ones. Okay, so that's pretty useful to know. While we're here, let's talk about the tickets, right? The scrolls. So we have three types of scrolls. The attacker, supporter, and treasure hunter. Basically, we call it as well the red, blue, and, and gold scrolls. And basically, this one is to kill the boss. Literally, it's right. If you're struggling to kill the boss, if you want to kill him, but you don't know if you can, you can use this to boost your attack. Okay, but this is generally not wanted most of the time, and people people just use them in lower level ones like three, four, uh, and or, or or less. To be honest, I, I don't think it's worth doing one and two. Because you get less rewards, basically. I mean, it's not that much less, but it's just it's, it just looks like a waste, right? It's a scroll that you could be using on a five, six stars. You use it on one star. It's just a waste, to be honest. So I don't recommend using uh, doing one or two stars. At least three. Three is okay. Three gives the purple reward, so it's kind of nice. Three, four, five, six, I would say, right? And try to keep the gold for fives and sixes. Right, five and six, so that's when I use my goats. Or you can just only use them on sixes, whatever. But um, it's up to you, okay? And what does the goal do? Basically, here it says that every team member has a 50% chance to double the rewards upon getting the chest. But that's not exactly true. I mean, we're not sure, to be honest, okay? This is kind of bugged. And 
to be safe, what you should try to do is just get the person with this scroll, right, to actually take the chest. So make sure the person that has this scroll takes the actual chest. Doesn't die before, doesn't come after, but, but takes it. I have seen cases where the person didn't take it, I don't remember if it was before or after, but we still got double. I've also seen cases where I got double and my teammate didn't get double. Okay, so this is not, we don't know exactly how it works. People say it's one thing, we see other things. It's best not, not to think too much about it and just try to get at least one gold on each chest. Try not to stack too many golds because that's just a waste, right? Uh, but if you see that's necessary to have two golds, because you're not sure if one's going to survive, then that's fine as well. But at least one gold on each chest to get each chest. And then the blue one is the easiest to get. Generally, if people have lots of these and basically just give a, a boost, a damage boost to your team, which is really nice. And not only that, but this is really important because you can use the scroll to kill traps, literally, right? So if you have the scroll activated and then you see a trap, it kills the trap. That's really nice because then you don't take the 30% damage. But at the same time, you can only do it once right you can only do this one trap and then after that you just take the damage from the trap but it's really nice because most people have these so maybe you have two or three goats have one red and then you have the other three people using blues so you can get rid of uh, three traps which is really really nice okay so make sure that you use this smartly all the scrolls make sure you use them on the right stars and use them in the right way when you, you are the one uh, setting up the, the, the instance okay and when are you the one setting up the instance? Well, only when you're the leader, only when you are the one who unlocks it. I, I only have these keys right now because, well, I've been unlucky, but it's okay, let's create one. I'm going to create a three star with the blue, okay? So basically, guys, first thing first, be careful because there's a bug, okay? So you can have up to seven members, but sometimes uh, it goes to eight. <laughs> I, actually, I've seen nine once as well. So if it goes past seven, then you will not be able to start and you'll be stuck for 15 minutes here, okay? So be careful. Uh, uh, that happens when you do this, allow to join directly. Okay, so try not to use this feature here. Uh, just make sure they have to accept them because that can happen, the bug can happen. So try to avoid it because it's not pleasant for anyone involved. All the eight or nine people will be stuck for 15 minutes. Okay. Then you have publish recruit here that you, it publishes a message, um, basically. Uh, that's, it can be useful, I guess, if you're in, uh, not many people are online at that time. Uh, you also have invite teammate, but this is... I have not... People don't use this, to be honest. You can have friends, like teammate friends here, but it doesn't work too well and nobody really uses it because there's always enough people to play, generally, <laughs> most of the time. And also you can refresh the list. Okay, so I, I have these people here, but if I refresh, more people have already applied. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys saw the notification here, but when somebody applies, there you go. You can see notification, so, but it doesn't update, so you have to refresh the list for it to update. Okay, so you have all these people here. And like I said before, you want at least two goats, right? You want two goats to get the chests, the gold chest and the silver chest. The goats are obviously more important because it gives better rewards, right? Since this is a three star, it's not very difficult. I'll just put myself on the boss here. I just make sure I'll be killing the boss. And of course I can kill it for sure. <laughs> There's no doubt. Uh, and then I'm gonna get, try to get at least two goats. Okay, so let's see if I can find two goats. Let me just make sure I'm refreshed. Nobody's using gold because it's a three star. Okay, here, that's this guy. He's not that strong, but uh, well, he's the only one so far. <laughs> uh, but he can do it. He can be the, the this guy here. It should be fine. This level should be fine. Uh, about the levels, I'm not gonna give you guys the levels, the exact levels for each star. I mean, you can, I mean, no, um, you can learn that from experience. Uh, but only the six star, like I said, you need like 400 million or 500 million will be very safe to kill the boss. Okay, uh, but not not for a three star. All right, let's uh, see if we have another goat. Oh, another goat here. He's also not very strong. Let's see if we have one more goat, just because these guys are not too strong. I don't want to lose it. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to lose uh, any, any anything. So what I'm gonna do is look at that. I'm gonna put the weakest one first, and then the strongest one here, just so the weakest one can, you know, uh, <laughs> weaken this monster. But he's probably gonna kill it anyway because it's a three star. But this is also habit because we do this in the in the, the more difficult stars, right? And then we have the strongest guy uh, here. Actually, I'm gonna do it the other way around. 
yeah, the strongest guy just to make sure they get the gold, and then these two to get the silver. Okay, now I can just uh, accept anyone basically. So I'm just gonna for for this, I'm gonna accept the, the lowest power people because I'm sure that I can get everything now. So just people who are low power, VIP zeros. I try to do that in these, especially these uh, instances that are easier, right? I think I saw a VIP. Yeah, there we go, zero. Uh, one more, one more. Uh, Okay, this guy is fine. Okay, there we go. All right, so and then uh, I'm gonna remove this guy. Okay, so like I said before, okay, what happens here? So this guy's gonna go first, then this guy, then this guy. So imagine this guy dies. Okay, if he dies, then and then this guy kills the boss. If he goes here and kills the boss, then we will not get the silver chest, right? Imagine you die, right? He dies, he's gone. And then this guy's gonna come behind, but this one will hit the boss before this guy hits the silver chest. So we will lose the this, this silver chest, and not only that, but since he's attacking the boss first, on the first line, then we will not get the, the gold chest either, because once you kill the boss, then the game, uh, it's over, right, it finishes, so you can't get the gold chest. So try not to do this, alright? Let's go here, um, and then it should, it should be fine, right, so I'll put this guy here, and I'll put this guy here as well, just, uh, well it doesn't matter to be honest, I'll, I'll leave him here, it's just if he wants to kill the boss, if he can. Uh, it's fine because we don't have a second one here in the gold chest because we don't need it. Uh, so it, it doesn't really matter if... Uh, but if we had a, gold, a second one here and we wanted to be sure that we got the gold chest, then I would put it here. right? Just in case this kills the boss before the second one gets the gold chest. This is pretty important. Okay, So these guys here, they will go to the portal and when they get to the portal, what happens is the portal sends them here, to the boss lane. Okay, To the... Well, the beginning of the boss lane. Okay, portal, boss lane, and then they go to kill the boss afterwards. Of course, they will not get there because I'm here, but they would get there if it was necessary. Uh, always keep an eye, an eye on the chat. Okay, this is where people talk and they give their uh, well, advice, and some people are more experienced than others. Do keep an eye on uh, this chat here. There's going to be a notification, right? So make sure that you, you check that out. It's very important uh, to listen to other people, especially if you're not very experienced. So please do that. Um, all right, so let's go to uh, here as well. Not, not apply. Of course, this is the one that you guys saw before. But if you go to the member list, then you can see people's teams. Right. So this is important when you're not sure if a person can beat the boss or not. You check their team. Is that team good or not? Okay, okay, this guy can beat the boss. Okay, that's fine. Okay, but, but make sure that you check that first. Right, I think we're good here. If you want to check the the monsters, you can click on them, but you can also go here to Intel and it show you everything like it showed before in the other screen. Right, here's the trap. So it, it's quite nice, right? You can check it out here. It's always Kaido with Luffy's, <laughs> with other four Luffy's. It's always like that, even though it shows Blackbeard here. It's kind of strange, but anyway, uh, let's go. Let's let's. Uh, I think we're we're ready ready for this. Okay, so important things to remember. Right, make sure the goats get the chests. Right, if you're not sure if the goat is gonna get a chest, you can also do like a sacrifice beforehand, like put a weak one before. If the, imagine there's a trap, like there are many traps, you can do it like this and get this guy to clear the trap before. Because remember, the blue it clears the trap, right? It kills the trap, so you can do that as well. All right, but it's not the case here. We have a very weak uh, star, so we don't have to do that. Let's go. Let's see. If you want to watch the fight, you can stay here. But if you don't, you can just go out and it will show you the result. But let's let's watch the fight. Make sure that if you watch, you always uh, tick this box before the first battle. Otherwise, it may bug. Uh, it may still bug out, but uh, yeah. You see, the trap was destroyed. He didn't get any damage and he destroyed the trap. The gold one took damage, but the blue one did not take damage. Oh, he's going to take damage again, see? Uh, it's 20% because it's a red star, I guess. Uh, sorry, three star. So three stars, they only take 20%? Yeah, that's right. But six stars take 30%. You see, this time he took damage because it's gone. It's only once that you can kill the trap. See, these two, they still have the buff, the little shield thing. So they can uh, kill the, the, the trap here. But this one can't. Like He's taking damage too. All right, this is fine. You see, now the second row is going forward. The second row is going forward. Now this one as well. Let's go. See, you see that how they move? This guy taking damage again. I know this animation really sucks. I wish they changed it, but it is what it is. This guy destroyed the trap, as I told you guys. And he doesn't have the buff anymore. You see, he took the chest, took the chest. So only when they get there, they take the chest. And then they die. <laughs> Alright, 
So there you go. Oh, sorry, my bad. The the portal takes them back, right? Takes them all the way back. And now, if you skip the battles, the boss battle can't be skipped. Oh, it can be skipped if you go in, but it can't be skipped before that. So I got to the boss and I'm going to kill it. Basically, I'm not going to stay here because it's a very long battle. Okay, so that's it. That's how it works. All right, so let's go back here, and then if you go here, then you can see. Let's see if you got any doubles. Yeah, we got one double, the gold chest, but it's not guaranteed. As you can see, we didn't get a silver double, even though they were both uh, gold scrolls, right? The, the treasure hunter scroll. We only got it for the, the, the gold one. And for some reason, it's not the way I said it before, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Maybe it, it was changed. Let's just collect our rewards. Uh, I advise you guys, okay, so after you get all these rewards here, Okay, this is m what I do. Okay, uh, after you get all these rewards, uh, this last one is bugged. Okay, it's not possible to do this for some reason. It, it's just a bug, so don't even try it. But after you get everything else, tr um, try not. Uh, if you're especially if you're close to the reset that I, m I mentioned before, where is the reset? Yeah, uh, damn it. Okay, yeah. If you're close to this reset here, then don't collect the rewards right because these rewards here they give you the um this thing here all right the ice age score that's what gives you the achievements right that's what uh gives these achievements here okay these points Let's see score reaches four thousand uh so if you save them if you don't collect them then after the the reset yeah next year <laughs> basically the first of uh, january then you'll be able to just uh, <laughs> basically do all the quests instantly Okay. Uh, of course, this is not necessary. It's very easy to do the quest in two months, but this can be useful if you imagine that you have a, a, serv uh, a server merge on the second of January, right? So you don't have time from the first of January to the second of January. You won't have time to do all the all the quests. So if you have them saved up, then that's uh, something that you can you can do easily. All right. That's just an idea. Uh, you can't do it for all of them, but it's 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 worth doing if you think that you may get a merge soon. And you won't have time to complete all the achievements before then. Uh, okay, let's try to apply for a six star. So we can learn from it. Okay, so this is gone. Let me okay, let's hope they accept me. Okay, they don't have any golds, and I applied as a gold. So let's see if they accept me. Okay, we have a really strong guy here, <laughs> Terror. Uh, shout out to Terror. Always our role of shame guy on this squad, as you guys know, well, some of you. Let's see if this one will accept me. I don't think they are, they're accepting me. No, they didn't accept me. Okay, so let's watch it anyway. Let's watch what happened here. So the so this guy is really strong, right? But he, he's got the gold one, so he should definitely use him for the gold chest. Like, the way it's here, he should just leave him there. And then he needs to get the silver chest. So you also have a... a, a well, this guy is really weak, actually. <laughs> Alright, so I, I would just uh, put this guy like in the front here, just to kill this trap. Put him there, kill the trap, and then he's gonna die afterwards, but that's fine. And then he needs to get the silver chest, right? So this guy is enough for the silver chest, but uh, I don't know, I'll just put maybe this guy here, and, and maybe put this one behind him, like himself behind him, so they can uh, kill the trap, not get the silver chest, right? So him there, and then this one here where this one is. And then you put this guy here, right, for the trap, and then uh, terror and Brazo, they can go behind. Brazo can go first and then Terror can go behind him and then they go for, go for the boss. They're definitely enough for the boss. Terror with the meta team and the Brazo with the meta team as well. So they can, Brazo can go first because he's a bit weaker and then Terror can go after him with the weak guy in front to kill the trap and the boss is dead. TP will definitely get the gold one because he's like one of the top two, two or three of the of the game, maybe the, the first, him and, and, and a few others are always battling out, right? Uh, but he can definitely get the gold chest, and well, this guy, the seven million, seven hundred million guy, should definitely get the silver chest too. But just in case, you can put this one before him or after him, the three before four hundred million, and the silver chest should be uh, gotten too. Okay, even if you have two people here, they will still arrive on the, uh, to the chest before. Uh, before Brazo does, uh, Brazo go in front, right? So before he gets to the, the boss, the second guy here will get to the chest, and TP will get to the gold chest. So you're good to go. Okay, uh, I don't, th I don't think 
they started or they started and then it bugged and I don't see the, the match but it's okay I guess right but they definitely win this if they do it like that if they do it this way that they're doing here now they'll still kill the boss um, and, and probably be fine <laughs> in general but they will not get the silver chest right this guy has no chance to get in the silver chest because even the, nom the normal guys here are very strong uh, because it's a six star okay so uh, I think they Oh, there's another six star here. Let's see if this guy accepts me. Uh, I think this is basically it that you guys need to know. There is a 30 minutes cooldown for you to create a new instance. All right, so if you use the key, you have to wait 30 minutes. That's basically it. All right, I wasn't able to get a six star. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here waiting for it, so it's completely fine. We already learned everything there there is to learn. Okay, so just be careful. Basically, guys, uh, when you're setting up, that's the most important part, okay? Just set, set it up in a way that the the guys who can get the chest, they'll get to the chest before you kill the boss, okay? And then if you do that, it will be fine. And then make sure, I mean, of course, try to get the gold uh, scrolls, right? The, the gold, the treasure hunter guys on the chest so you can get double, but that's not guaranteed. So it's just a chance, but you can still try anyway because the rewards are actually really, really good. Right, you can actually check the rewards. Where can you check the rewards again? Oh, I got accepted. All right, you can check the rewards here. Okay, so the rewards are pretty nice. They give lots of cool stuff. You can see the six star one here. You get lots of very useful stuff. And this is the thing that you can save up for your uh, server merges, right? Make sure you save these up for merges because you get 30%. Actually, this happened to me right now. All right, I have a merger happening right now so I can show you guys. It's here, right? So you get, this is the good harvest and you can uh, you see that I used it. So I. I, I saved up the pots, I saved up these bags, so I got a lot of stuff 30% uh, back. I'm going to get it actually, right? 20% of these, 30% of these old other ones, and I'm going to get it back at the end of the event. It's a really good event. Make sure you save everywhere that you can save to get these five things. Just save it. Don't use it, right? Keep it in your bag because it will be very useful. And that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope less people will now be wasting your keys and wasting scrolls on and not doing it right. <laughs> because it's really frustrating when people don't do it right. Especially because we have a guide available. And now we have this one available. So there you go. You guys have no excuse now. <laughs> Alright, so thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.